Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode for Sculpting Basics with Nomad Sculpt. Uh, if you have not watched the first one, please go ahead and watch as that will help you understand this one. Alright, so let's start with the box. So now I have turned on the gizmo for this uh, because we are going to play with some of the other interfaces. To If you select uh, any shape and to change the dimension in terms of x y or z axis you have to use the gizmo tool so go ahead and use a gizmo tool it's pretty simple you just have to pull this small box say i'm uh, reducing the thickness of it or if you want to reduce the height or the length of it okay or you want to uh, you know decrease the Z axis okay so this is how you do it all right so uh, before we start working on making and making a sculpture there are few other tools that I would like to go through so first let me flatten this box a bit and I want to increase the size of it okay and let me increase the size of Z also Okay, so it's like a plank, it's like a wooden plank where we are going to do the carving. Basically, let me make it a square or something like that. It isn't a square. Okay, so this is all right. This should be good enough for us to understand. All right, so let's get rid of the gizmo now. I don't need it. So the next tool that I would like to use is, uh, we want to give it a, say for example, we want to give it some kind of a, uh, a structure, a green structure. For example, if you want to make a house, in a wooden house, you would need planks or tiles of the wooden green structure. So let's do that. Let's take the crease. Uh, let's take crease option. Now it's always good to use layers when you are making some kind of a green structure because that will help you. You don't need to create the entire thing one uh, over and over again. You can create one plank and have different layers to give it a wooden texture or a marble texture. So I have what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, saved this. Uh, I had actually renamed it. Why didn't it get renamed? Sometimes it doesn't get renamed, so you'll have to make sure that you give it. Uh, say this is the plank base. Okay. Uh, I don't like this spelling. Okay, plank base. Now, you, I want to add a texture of a uh, you know like a wooden green texture for this. So let me go ahead and add a layer here and name it as wood train okay all right hmm. option here and create some grains here uh, it need not be perfect because you see the and okay uh, so another thing that is uh, the symmetry is on in this case if you want to turn off the symmetry it's uh, completely all right so no i don't like this okay so it's like as if there is a wooden structure so um here we have drawn a very rough wooden grain structure but if you want to have a reference image and follow it tap on the seventh icon from the top left menu it will open up the background with its environment color etc and also uh, like if you can see my background is of a mock color so i've chosen it here so you can change it back to gray the initial um, or the original interface color etc and then you have the reference image so here if you have reference image go to the photos and choose your reference image here okay and uh, so you can see it so just keep it where you can see the structure and then see and draw the greens once you're done you can remove it as well okay so let's go to the shading menu so now that we have one side of it done let's go to the 
or the small brightness icon uh, under the shading menu change the rotation of the shading exposure now let's use the paint tool click on paint um, I have already added a layer for paint and I'm on that layer so I will go on paint and let's choose this color uh, metalness should be zero because it's wood and roughness you can increase this as much as you want choose the color of the wood in this case let's choose the darker one matte color not this one okay and paint all so here is your i don't like this color much uh, okay this should be fine yeah so this is a dark color which i think is good good enough all right paint all you have done it okay go back to the crease turn off the symmetry if you want Make some more edges to give it a very fine line texture of the wooden grain. And you can also use another color, a slightly darker color. Go back to paint and choose, say, um. Mm, I pick a tool and I'm going to try this. Oops. Reduce the brush size and the intensity and just use it like a shade. Okay, so next thing which I would recommend you to do is use the smooth tool and smooth out some of the edges here and all wooden planks do not come in a perfect shape so we need to use the trim tool to give it a cut here and there so scroll through use the trim tool use the line and give it a small cut okay that was too much of a cut Go back to the smooth tool So you have a very rough wooden plank ready now. Alright. Now the beauty of doing this in layers is if you don't want the crease to be like this and you want the crease to be something else. Sorry. Okay. Come here. You can always go back to the layer. Let it auto save. Okay, well, go back to the layer and the wood grain. If you remember, this is where we start the crease. You can turn it off, and you'll get your plank or the color. If you don't want the color, you want to have another color. You can have multiple colors added. You can have a color of wood, 
a wooden plank with a darker color and with a lighter color as well. You can create multiple layers so that you can reuse these objects later for creating anything. Now, now I'm gonna turn the gizmo on again. Okay, um, before we turn on the gizmo, let's go back to this and let's replicate the mesh or duplicate the mesh. Okay, so that we have a copy of it and let's go to gizmo, turn it on and let's change the size a bit. So you can see there are two mesh. So I can use it as another plank, a smaller one or a thinner one. Let's do a thinner one. Okay. And then I can use the rotate option for from the gizmo tool. From the gizmo tool. Do you see how pretty it is the grain structure when you actually reduce the dimension of it? You can do it in this dimension as well, but it looks pretty. So, okay, so let's uh, rotate this a bit. Now, duplicate these materials or the objects in form of rectangle, square or any other shape and position them by using the gizmo tool that is you can change the dimensions you can change the rotation angle and position them by using your um, finger to rotate the entire plane of this interface in the next class we will try to create uh, an object which is part of an environment for a greater project. So see you in the next class.